Welcome back to the Morning After Pill Show, fuckers. Today is a very unique episode because we don't have Christopher. I went and said, you know, now that he's gone, I'm going to replace him for good. So I'm starting out with his brother, James. Say hello. What's going on, assholes? <laughs> this is this is the brother that Chris is always talking shit about <laughs> on the podcast. The one and only. You want you do you you've, you've heard a few of them, right? Oh uh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. What are your favorite ones? Uh, just the ones where I just pick on him. How, how does it make you feel? Uh. Like, how do you feel whenever you, do you just laugh or are you? Yeah, like, no, like, I laugh about it. We were kids. Yeah. I mean, a lot of that stuff, you know. My brother picked up me a yeah, little too. Yeah, I felt like I, I, that's what I had to do. I was an older brother. <laughs> I was contractually obligated to pick on him. Contractually? Yeah. That's what I meant. That is, okay, that's what I heard. I was just yeah. checking. Oh, shit. Yeah. Excuse us. <laughs> <laughs> so much for getting paid on this one. Oh, goodness. Um. How old are you? I'm 41. You're 41? I am. Wow. You know, I had, obviously, like, I actually mean that. I'm not just, like, playing for the uh, fucking, <laughs> like, I had no idea how old you were. Your brother keeps on saying that you're older, but I'm yeah. like, how much? Because you guys, Five years. you guys don't look like there's much of a gap between y'all because no, you're no. not aging fast enough and he's aging too fast. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll really appreciate that one. Oh, yeah, no, he, yeah. he will. Payback, hey, motherfucker. <laughs> he'll get me back he'll get me back i want him to we were gonna have chris on the show but uh we had a few time delays and fuck it but he's right now he is i told him to go teabag goofy i want him like i wanted i just don't like glorifying stupid people we do it today and if anyone out there was a fan of the goofy movie you're just showing a stupid man a lot of good attention <laughs> like the cartoon goofy yeah movie? goofy you didn't like that I, i'm just saying <laughs> no, I, I I remember the movie. I don't think I really cared for it all that much. Definitely was a bigger fan of Lion King back then. Okay, I can respect that. I was as well. But you were just at Disneyland not so long ago, right? You got to build the lightsaber that he was dying did, to do. Yeah. Did he tell you what happened? He did. Yeah. That he. Yeah. It was booked. I didn't know it was going to work like that. I thought it was going to be like a ride. No, I think I booked mine. A month and a half. Did you even tell him to book it? Yes, I was, oh, okay. I was on his ass all the time <laughs> over that shit for like a month. Yeah. But you know Chris. I do. Yeah. But I think some of the audience even knows Chris uh, when it comes to things like that. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, they, if they've listened to the show enough, I'm sure they do. <laughs> they know. <laughs> he, no, he, he won't say much. He won't say much. He's probably going to hate this episode. Oh, he'll despise it. <laughs> he'll despise he'll it. Despise he'll listen it. to it. He's like, all right. Know. That was pretty funny though. But we talk shit about you like crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Fuck I mean, I'm yeah. sure I'm sure there'll be several fuck Jesus. You know, <laughs> I fully expect it. So I mean I can't wait what the next one will sound like. We'll have we'll have Andrew Rivers on, but we'll see if he even has the room to talk about it. Everybody has problems with their brother. Yeah. Yeah. The list is long. <laughs> the, the list, list is long. The list is long. I remember for a long time, I I don't remember what it was. I think it had something to do with my brother's CDs, but they were missing. And he was blaming me because it was all CDs of music that I had like just started getting into. So it was like a lot of rock CDs and shit. And he was asking me where they're at. And I was like, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Like, I, did you really not know? I really didn't. I don't. Yeah, like I did not know where they went or what was going on with it. But whatever. So <clears throat> he would kind of pick on me. He was kind of a dick to me about it, and I couldn't do anything. Like me and my brother have a seven year gap. So there's parts where I'm much smaller than he yeah, is. And not even, but I think this was like when I was in high school or maybe even middle school. And I want to say it wasn't that bad, but it was kind of like uncomfortable. You know what I mean? And I kind of feel like he wasn't around, like he was out doing his thing. Like he was definitely in high school, so he was out partying and shit like that, I'm sure. But Most where, definitely. When it came to like any kind of like hanging out or me and him being together, it was always kind of rough yeah, at I mean, the time. Chris and I actually hung out a lot. I used to bring him, which is probably bad thinking now, especially as a father, bringing him to high school parties and stuff like that <laughs> when he's like five years younger than me. Did he fit in well? or? I mean, I guess. Yeah, I mean, no one had a problem with him, so. <laughs> that works, right? Uh, yeah. I got not? no problem with people five no, years younger than no. me today. When you get older, that gap. Yeah, like he's got the ten-year-old in here, <laughs> swinging a, you know, freaking 
an oldie, and I'm like, ah, yeah, don't worry about it. It's just Chris, man. It's Chris. What's up? Uh, he had mentioned, was this in Florida or in Colorado? Florida would have been Colorado. Uh, what were, where were y'all at during Florida times? Was that before or after? It's for, before. So it was it, it was Colorado first, right? Yeah, like we that's where y'all were kids in Colorado. Yeah, so whenever right. y'all were like getting yeah. a little older, were y'all outside of high school and all that shit when before y'all were in Florida? We, oh, yeah. Yeah. Joey okay. was, when, when we moved to Florida, my son was getting ready to start elementary school. So he was almost five years old. Really? Yeah. How old is he now? Like 22? Like 20. 20? Yeah. 20. I know. Damn. Man, yeah, Jesus. I know we've talked about him on here, too. He had a good time at PAX. But, uh, <laughs> I'm, sh- I'm sure he did. No, I was just trying to, like, kind of picture who y'all were when y'all were in Florida. Because Florida uh, is always, it's always an easy, it's a, that's low-hanging fruit in the world of, like, making people laugh. Uh, <laughs> honestly, we worked, we worked for, a. Uh, specific place and uh it was a lot of hours and really we worked non-stop when we were in florida like, florida was uh was that when they were doing the, the storage or whatever not storage but retail yeah 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 were in the stock room shit that's we what were, it was right okay yeah yeah okay and then we had went into management and did that whole shebang <laughs> both of y'all or you i went in and Chris, Chris went into the management? management too, I believe, okay. yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Forget about the whole management thing. And earlier before we were talking, we were talking like investment shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, let's save our money, this and that, because we don't have real jobs. <laughs> so we need to make ourselves <laughs> retire. And we, all that led to the fact that at the older age that we're getting to, our conversations are different. Yeah, they're, for sure. they're talking about 401ks <laughs> and, yeah, you know, moving my... High, like my moderate stuff into a little less, <laughs> little less. I'm getting a little older now, so yeah. Those well, are just, conversations you have when you get older. Man. Things hurt just, just from waking up. You're like fuck, man. Uh, That's just, me. Yeah, I know. Just your brother, your, your brother never has that problem apparently. And then like one day he gave me the secret. He was like, just stretch in the shower. <laughs> he's all that's what I do I was like that's your secret to your long life that is the secret huh? I, I, I'm Mountain a, Dew I've known and... for 35 years I had no idea <laughs> Mountain Dew and stretching the shower Mountain Dew <laughs> Newports and a hot shower, <laughs> <laughs> hot shower. <laughs> write it down everybody write it down Mountain Jeez. Dew and Newports there you go <laughs> That's funny. Mm-hmm. What was your? Did you 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 smoked too, right? You used to smoke cigarettes like crazy. No, back. no? I actually never smoked cigarettes. You, you come off as this type of guy that's like, oh, I I, I tried it all and quit already. Well, I did. I mean, I <laughs> tried it. I yeah. tried sitting in a Denny's drinking coffee with a bunch of douche bags. Got kids. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Flipping their hair. Yeah. Yeah. Cigarettes and coffee. And that lasted like twelve minutes. You couldn't do it. Absolutely not. You tried it. I'll I, give you that. I, I mean, I was down to try anything. I, I was, I mean, I've been through all sorts of situations. I'm, hopefully the best of us, the most of us would be willing to try it out a different way. There are some fucking boneheads out there that just never changed their life since high school. A, Hang out with the same people, doing the same things. They go to Fiesta every year. Just, they go to every the same events all year round every year. Like When they start going to your kids' high school parties, that's... It's probably about the time they should hang Did out. you go to your son's high school parties? Absolutely not. <laughs> he was here in high school, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, middle school and high school here. Was that a weird thing? Like, watching him grow up compared to, like, watching yourself grow up in a different state? Yeah. Is that just, like... Well, first of all, there's already, like, a huge culture shock because... Yeah, because we People were... that age, like, that generation right now... It's, Not only I can't stand them, but like oh, they're all idiots. <laughs> but that they said that about us at one point, didn't they? And we were idiots. And we were idiots. But then you get yeah, but now we're old enough to where we can describe them. They're the idiots now. I feel like the 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 intellectual conversation between what we were having back then and to what they're having now just kind of just I don't know. Maybe that's. No Kids sub- are getting fucking stupid. There's no substance anymore. Everybody's <laughs> fucking desensitized to everything. So it's just blah, 
Blast. There's just nothing to do anymore. So, so many more people with their phones down, like their heads down on their that's, phone. Yeah, yeah. It's just information overload. You think so? Yeah, nothing shocks you anymore. You're desensitized. You know, I remember when I was a, a fucking kid, we get a, a VHS of something called Faces of Death, and you put that shit in and I you watch it. I'm the, sure I knew you watched that shit. The monkey brain. Some shit like that. Now, I mean, you can Google anything now and see <laughs> anything. anything. So people are seeing that at an earlier age. They're just desensitized to everything. People watching people fall from the fucking yeah, towers. Yeah, it does absolutely, does absolutely nothing, nothing, nothing emotionally to... Yeah, those faces of death, like, it wasn't always the moment somebody died. It yeah. was Sometimes it was even just, like, crime scenes that were just really bloody. Yeah, that kind of shit kind of freaked me out. It did. I remember the first time I watched it, I was... I don't think I was prepared for it. <laughs> I didn't know what I was going into. <laughs> like, screwed with me that night. I was, still, I was still young enough to have, like, nightmares and shit. So, you know what movie yeah. got to me was uh, Tales from was it Tales from the Hood, the the fucking like scary movie one. Do you know what I'm talking about? Tales from the Hood. Yeah. yeah. Not Tales from the Crypt. Oh no, Tales, Tales from, from the, the Hood. hood. Gangster flick. Yeah. Yes. Was it the one where? Uh, it was like three separate films. Yeah, my favorite one out of that is the one where Tommy Davidson, the kid, draws him as a monster, and then they can <laughs> yeah, crumble yeah, up the yeah, ape yeah, yeah. his drawing, and he breaks his arms and stuff. Yeah. Fucking Tommy Davidson, it's a funny dude. Um, yeah, that movie, like, the ending freaked me out for some reason. When it was just revealed himself as the devil. Mm-hmm. That's not even the scariest part of the movie. But, like, no. as a kid, I was like, I didn't want to watch it anymore. That scene was freaky to me for some reason. It was just, like, weird little things. I used to have, like, this weird obsession with zombies. Always having dreams about them and shit. Now, after a while, in my even in my dreams, they just started becoming funny. <laughs> <laughs> I can't pinpoint one thing, but I just remember, like, feeling hysterical about a fucking zombie nightmare. Because you're grown and you're uh, <laughs> yeah, you a don't... testosterone-filled dude who just wants to have a zombie apocalypse playing, <laughs> playing too much Black Ops and shit. <laughs> There's, dude, I don't think anyone's ever talked about it, but I think it should be brought up. The fucking, the zombie apocalypse preparation is ridiculous. <laughs> and you think it would have slowed down because it was big <laughs> like several years ago. Yeah, but when really The Walking Dead sl- came out. Yeah, exactly, but it really hasn't slowed down. Yeah, it hasn't. They like make they make real handguns and real weapons in that zombie green. In that green color, that's gonna matter. Yeah, it's gonna help you kill a zombie better if it's that color green. Why is that the official color for zombie apocalypse? By the way, like the jeeps that get painted in that green, they're like I'm a zombie killer. Is that like biohazard shit? Maybe. Are we assuming it'll be done that way? In today's (laughs) modern climate of politics, I. (laughs) <laughs> I'd lean more toward that way. I always laugh when people are like, we're already zombies. Because yeah. <laughs> of technology. <laughs> I was like, no, those zombies are like eating each other. And there's only like a few people left. And it wasn't because they weren't on social media. That's when you just look <laughs> up and you just go back and eat your kale salad. Walk away, <laughs> walk away in your Birkenstocks and your hemp jewelry. Leave me alone. Uh, it's like the alien thing I was talking about. <laughs> people that believe that they're going to... that People that want to get abducted. You know, like you've seen it. I'm sure you've seen it on on, on social media where people are oh, like, yeah. I can't wait for the aliens to come and get me. And then you're just kind of like, I, I need to see whose profile this is. That was That's too much. That's where it, this is where it like led to me thinking about that. And yeah, then... I don't really want that. <laughs> you, you're, you're not going to be able to to physically handle that situation at all let's just let's just think about it you get abducted by aliens today's modern world that person that type of person the same one birkenstocks vegan (laughs) vegan (laughs) they make their pets go vegan too you know they're all skinny (laughs) see their ribs they don't make drool anymore their dogs (laughs) they just super dehydrated (laughs) eyes are looking like raisins yeah (laughs) they just look freaky look how cute my little buddy is Uh, 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 fur mom anyways Uh, (laughs) anyways they if you get abducted by aliens you're gonna let's just say it's a good situation they're gonna take you in the middle of an atmosphere that you've never been exposed to you're already struggling in this one. It's like methane. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's like straight up just all the all the shit that we've been putting out up there for like... It's like a hydrochloric acid gas. <laughs> it should burn a little just, probably on the way up. Whew. That's why shit rusts. <laughs> yeah. 
This is why spaceships, you can only use them once. You don't see them traveling back and forth. It's not going to happen. So that's new atmosphere. So that means air is going to be different. Gravity may be different. It may be something that you can handle, but what if it's more difficult? Or what if you can't handle it at all? You're, you're already weak from your your diet choices and lack of exercise because all you do is just sit on YouTube watching conspiracy videos and learning about energy. Food, babe. <laughs> You're watching documentaries about how meat's killing people. So there you are. You're a vegan in space. A vegan in space. <laughs> you just got abducted because they saw your post on Instagram. They were like, we heard you were looking for us. I mean, you're not going to last much in the. That's my point. Anyway. Yeah, that's so, my point. You're not going to last long. So basically, you're just. The only thing you're going to tell them is. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you already struggle with communication with your maid. Because you know, you you've been diagnosed with ADHD <laughs> since you were like seven years old. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Your mom, your, your mom diagnosed you in their hippie van. At a concert, yeah, a fish concert. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's just say something tells me that this is a very young mom. So they they might have gone to go see Tupac you, right? or Cypress Hill. <laughs> 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 what tells me that? <laughs> Nothing told me that. Okay. <laughs> just maybe I'm talking from experience, or maybe no. it just maybe it just makes sense. <laughs> it's so random. It's very likely that it's happening. I like to go Cypress Hill and, or Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> That's who she saw. Yes. She was dragged by a, yeah, a very abusive boyfriend. She went to an <laughs> inner city school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she definitely went to one of those like prep schools. Where, oh, not okay. prep schools. Ones where like you have to go because you're pregnant. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like oh, this. <laughs> you're either a really good athlete at that school or you probably are on WIC. Yep. Get awarded for being the youngest person on WIC. <laughs> Besides the babies. <laughs> Extra can of powdered milk that week. Anyways, back to the vegans yeah, in right. space. Vegans in space. Uh, we do this a lot. You're, you're doing just like your brother when it comes to <laughs> helping me go off subjects, by the way. It's very, it's very easy. To do. It's very easy to do. <laughs> and then just don't look at the time because you're going to be like, oh, wow. No. Yeah, wow. Anyways, I did it. Vegans in space. You're in space now. You're already just struggling through that. You can't communicate with them because you have an attention deficit disorder and you don't understand their goddamn language. You can't even understand like the, the uh, you know, the Middle Eastern people that try to sell you things at the gas station. What are they called? Clerks? Clerks. <laughs> Clerks. At the bodegas. At the bodegas. At the bodegas. Nobody calls them that here. They straight up just Habib store. I know, I've said that sometimes, <laughs> people look at me like, what the hell are you saying? When you say bodega? It, yeah, and then... Texans are real, real uh, stubborn with the culture change. It's like somebody comes from somewhere else, you can straight up point it out when you're not, not from here. And all you've said was y'all, and you hear somebody say the word pop when they're talking about soda, and you fucking freak. Yeah. Get made fun of. I've always said soda. <laughs> Did you really? I've always said soda. Well, that's still... Well, the word, like, pop, that's, like, northwest or northeast, right? Mid? Yeah, I think so. Right? Northeast yeah. shit. Weird. Weirdos. Yeah. Weird with weird Boston accents. <laughs> you know, in the cars. Like, yeah. you just sound like you're pissed off, but you're yeah, just trying to have time. a regular conversation. Yeah, I, I don't, I truly don't think I could be. You could live out there? I, there's absolutely no way I could live out there. Like, New York, how everyone's always in a bad mood. At least you know, that's what they say. Like, everyone's yeah. everyone's got thick skin. Like, they fucking insult each other I, in the middle yeah, of the I street. Yeah, everybody just to be an asshole to me. <laughs> yeah, dude. Just like, because they are from New York. <laughs> it like, just sounds rough, that. right? Yeah. But I guess that's what they're used to. So yeah, maybe that's not... Going, hey, you fucking pussy. How you doing? Yeah. Like, like, they're straight up telling you about how they want to fuck your mom or yeah, about to. Like, bro, like, <laughs> Co-workers. Have you ever been to New, New York? York? Yeah. yeah, upstate New York. Upstate New yeah. York. So not New York City. Uh, no, no, but upstate New York, which was kind of nice. That's what I, that's what I've heard. And I heard the city makes the rest of the state look just, different. There's a few cities I just don't have any desire. Are most of them in Florida? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, touchy subject. 
No, I, I really don't. I really don't want to go to St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't really appeal to me. Why? It just doesn't. What's in St. Louis? Who is in St. Louis? Uh, the Rams used to be. <laughs> Some cities. My wife constantly wants to go to New Orleans, and I have no desire. I've been. I drove through New Orleans. I have no desire. To looks gross. I just yeah. It just, looks gross. I like no I don't desire. even want to. I don't even want to use one of their like like public restrooms. Are already tough, and I know you are much like your brother when it comes to that. <laughs> it's yes, tough. it's a it's tough. It's, for you. it's a hard life sometimes. That's the feeling I get just from like walking into the fucking like Kmart's and shit when I was over there. <laughs> Because oh, they yeah. still had Kmart's last time I went over there. Yeah, Those lasted a while over there. Levi's specials. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. You know. Yeah, I spent time in uh, St. Petersburg, which is beautiful facing the beach. I'll say that specifically. If you turn around, you're like, what the hell? It's just super, like, 180. Like It's really nice. Like, it's we, beautiful. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of places in Florida that I thought were absolutely gorgeous. But yeah. I just i've i've told i've told this story before but i want your opinion i did you ever see like people just arguing in the middle of the streets coming out of their cars and stuff like that like was that a regular thing oh absolutely it was wasn't it absolutely because i I experienced it crazy the only time i was out on the road i experienced that i've yeah there's i've seen some crazy backwoods shit (laughs) where i was like i don't really i need to get home or get out of this situation yeah. Some backwoods. I was out last night, some place I have never been to before. It was an Irish style. Well, they call themselves an Irish pub. You know, some bars will be like, oh, we're cowboy yeah. style. And you just go in there, it's just a fucking shithole. Sometimes they like play John country. Wayne poster. Yeah. In the corner. <laughs> yeah. A lot of these places are the same. This place looked nice and it was very packed. What was yesterday? Tuesday? Wednesday? Yeah. It was packed. And I was like, okay, this is cool. Everybody I saw there, like, other than whom I came with, was it was very backwoodsy. There was a, we think, was a, like, a dual-sided transgender couple making out. But I also mostly believe that it was a man and a woman, but we just can't tell which one's which. Like they had matching mullets? <laughs> well, one had a really short haircut and tits. Like a manly haircut and tits, and the other one had like a, like dreads, like long dreads, and a pretty face, and had a chest like a man and arms, but they're skinny. <laughs> so it, I'm like, you know, the person I was with just pointed in the direction and goes, "Doesn't that one look kind of like a boy?" And I was like, "Which one are you talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> they they were going ham on each other too. They were going, they were going ham. They, it was like a cheating couple. They were going cousin style. <laughs> they were, yes. Family style. They were going really crazy on each other just for a little bit, but enough for people to notice and to come up with things to say. I'm sure. It was like a good minute. And that's plenty of time of making out in a bar public full. Looking like that. Like you know you're interesting people. Like when people look that way, they obviously want to come class. off yeah I mean, they want to come off as interesting absolutely. i'm not i'm not shaming that part no i would never shame and i'm not shaming these people at all for no. for making out or how they look but it was an awkward situation because that was just like my first three minutes there oh, well shit. how long were you there <laughs> uh, two hours two hours. man on uh, maybe an hour at best but next thing that happens one of the people i came with uh, that's his bar like he's a regular there i was like okay this is int- that's cool Brought us here, wanted us to check it out. I didn't like it <laughs> because it's what's about to happen. Next thing is some younger dude, young guy, just comes and just starts talking, but he makes eye contact with me from like way across the building. He was like, and just started walking and he smiled and I was like, he's, he probably thinks I want to fuck him. I don't know. That's the vibe I got. I was like, I don't want to, but it's okay. Did you at least let him buy your drink? No, no, but he uh, knew the guy that I was sitting with and they talked for a little bit and he was just kind of like every now and then just kept looking at me. I was like, I hate this place already. <laughs> <laughs> this has been too much. I had a really shitty day at work. I just want to wind down. This is this is winding Sounds me like back. Sounds like you stumbled into like a secret 
Southside Sex Club <laughs> or some shit like that on accident. I feel like it's one and of tomorrow those. Tomorrow it'll just be a grocery store or something like that. <laughs> yeah, be tomorrow there. it's a new. It's not even <laughs> existent. You remember Hellboy Two, where they go into like some secret door and there's like yes. all these like weird animals and stuff like that, and yes. everyone has like their thing. Yeah, that's what it, that's what it felt like. Or it was I like a, a nightclub that's behind the laundromat. You have to walk through there first. <laughs> that's what it seemed like. Yeah, yeah, that's probably exactly what you stumbled upon into. <laughs> I mean, I've never been there before. <laughs> it was, you know, really cheap drinks. <laughs> I guess I'll give it that. Yeah, you're probably roofing out half of them. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I roofing myself before work. Is that what you call it now? It's good for headaches. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> But this guy gets closer and closer. Like, he's as far away as you are from your mic. Like, he can, he, he knows what I ate. A close talker? Yeah. Oh, no. Very close and intense. Kept on telling me, he's like, I'm very shy. I was like, no, you're not, dude. <laughs> you're not even close. You are literally in my bubble. And you haven't shut up since you got here. He was like, I didn't realize I was making you feel uncomfortable. I was like, I can tell. You're a foot from my face. <laughs> Not even, dude. Not even, Not even a foot. Gosh. A little shy. He's like from eight, 8 to 11 inches away. Yeah. Just... Like he knows what I just ate. That's just not. Yeah. Good. People do that. I get it. I get that that's how you do things and maybe you're just on drugs. Uh-huh. That same guy later on on his way out was like he threw out the n-word we're talking like a fucking like 22 year old 23 year old very caucasian guy had on a beanie very just like dressed like he's been in like in, at home all day and he just walked out and then throughout the n-word was like looking in my direction but you know when i when he when he left talking to me he was very kosher about it he was like you know I'll leave you alone. I was like, yeah, man, no, no hard feelings. I just, I don't want to, you know, anyone in my face like you were. So his drunk ass basically came up to you and in his own head, just this whole thing happened. Something else was going on in this guy's head. <laughs> it's something, dude. Because he, there was a lot invested in you for him for some reason. Well, I don't know. Like the eye contact. Start <laughs> that's out. what I mean. Did, <laughs> was, you, did you scan the room and accidentally make eye contact? That's all I always do. I always do. I always scan the room. I like so to... were you scanning and then just made eye contact? Like it was hard not to look away because of the way it was, <laughs> I was being approached with it. Like I was like, you know, and I scanned the room. I like people watching. I like making sure I, I kind of get somewhat familiar with the environment. You know what I mean? I, I like, it, I don't know, self-protection, whatever you want to call it, or just self-observation. But I, I, I'm scanning the room and I didn't even get to this way. Like I'm, I'm pointing left. And once I get looking straight, I, I got froze. Like I, I couldn't, I couldn't stop because this guy was like smiling, eyes like wide open. He was like, "Who is this guy?" You got Medusa. Well, I mean, I did get stoned afterwards, but not with him. Yeah, but he froze you. <laughs> yeah, I got Medusa <laughs> for sure. It was weird. It was very weird. It was hard to look away. It was like when you see something, like when you look at a dead body for the first time in your life, and you just can't look away. Yeah, <laughs> like oh, that's an easy agreement. <laughs> I get it. It's a good reference. We've all yeah, been there. Man. <laughs> good times, good times. And then again, like he was, he got super interested in like I don't know how it came out. The guy that I came with, he was like, "Yeah, this guy has a podcast, and he has this and this going on, and he works with me." You have a podcast? Oh no! I was like, it's just a podcast. It's, I mean, yes, I love what I do, but so. See a podcast groupie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was warned about them. I was partly hoping that <laughs> I just made that up. No, the I the fact that there are podcast groupies. Well, well when I was when I was like actively dating, I'd always get I was always getting told by some of these chicks like, watch out for the podcast groupies. <laughs> what? No, that's not a thing. You're like, where are they? <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting. <laughs> just waiting. Just waiting. I'm going to be doing this at blank, 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 blank street. <laughs> it, it doesn't make sense to me. It, there's no podcast groupies. Like a band groupie, I get, because they go out to an event. The groupies can go check out the band, and then they try to hook up with them there. 
we're recording right here right now in my apartment like there's no there's no audience you know what i mean no <laughs> there's, no there's some cats you know what i mean it's yeah covered in pussy but that's, yeah, that's it, it. Yeah. that's it yeah per use per use <laughs> the old use <laughs> <laughs> so did chris get in a lot of trouble growing up uh, I feel like it's he comes off to some people that don't know him as if, oh, man, this guy must have been an asshole his entire life. But I don't think so. No, actually. Yeah. No, actually. And he he never did anything super bad. Yeah. That was, that was I guess he saw me doing all this stupid shit he was like, being yeah, five years older that. and was like, fuck that. I don't want that drama. But, you know, he he never... Never took it too far. Yeah. Never took it too far. But, I mean, that's a good thing. Still voting shit. <laughs> you can't? Do you even want to? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I can't vote for douche or turd sandwich. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What do we got? We got Bloomberg and some other fucking people. Just whoever's on TV. I, I, do you follow at all? You know, I start to, and then after about the 900th different candidate yeah. that pops up, and then he's gone Yeah. after a month, then there's someone else. I just, it's not like the NBA finals. I just wait till the end, <laughs> just wait till the last, the, the, the end of, the end the of it. The final then four. I'll, yeah, you know, I just wait till the end. It's like the last five laps of a NASCAR race. I'm just, <laughs> I'm good to go. Yeah. <clears throat> Definitely more people going to the NASCAR event for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I was uh, I was hanging out with some some people after uh, after an open mic, and I was hearing somebody saying that they want to do more political. I was like, it's hard because if you want to do more political jokes and keep up with the politics and keep it funny, like Saturday Night Live, they keep it current. Yeah. It's really hard to keep up with something that's constantly becoming dumber every day. Like, sometimes it's already a joke on its own. I would like to be able to do it, too. Don't get me wrong. I get impressed just when people know names of <laughs> politicians. I'm like, I don't know who the fuck that is. There's a shit ton of content out there. Right <laughs> yeah, there right really is. is. <laughs> and it's daily content. Yeah. yeah. But I, I don't know. I, that one's kind of, it's weird for me because I never really cared enough to get comfortable with it. I don't pull in any certain direction for any party systems or anything like that. No. Most people I know don't come off a certain way. Like, I have a, a friend that goes to, like, Republican events. Yeah, I just couldn't do it. But this person doesn't come off like what you would, you know, what yeah. Republicans come off to be or whatever. Like, just just a person. So I, I could never tell on some people whenever they say they vote one way or another. I think it's dumb. I think it is, too. I think if you lean that, that so That makes the far, races stupid. Yes. Because if you're just going to vote for a certain party, why are people even competing like it's america's next top model that's how i figure <laughs> right if you only have one or two, if you only have two or three choices yeah. two really <laughs> what's the fucking it's a bipartisan point? system so i mean really it's just gonna be two choices yeah i mean i don't really like that guy or that guy <laughs> I, I, these are the two these are the like same them. group of people this is the same group of patriotic dumbasses that are i don't know if that's the right word but they don't believe in like the law well, let's say abortion yeah they don't believe in abortion but death penalty is okay yeah that's fucked up to me <laughs> well oh man oh here we go here we go here we go well remember the last time you were on you were warning us about government corruption and, pe and the government's all lizards i believe that wasn't me that was my lizard doppelganger <laughs> so, i don't know what that guy said or what he was doing but you know that's uh I right take, now our most listened to in the past 30 days i take no nothing from that uh yeah i so i see i try to see things political from both views because yeah. I, I always think that the majority of america doesn't lean left or right they lean somewhere in the middle yeah. they may have a little bit of conservative values and a little bit of liberal values which most people do. I like guns, but if you want to roll up a fatty, do that too. Whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think if you don't want to have an abortion, then don't get one. But if you want one, I mean, could at least be medical care for that. Yeah. Not necessarily free. They make it really difficult to do. Did you know that? 
Like but you can only do it on a certain day of the week. I want to say it's like Monday or something like that. Like certain places only do a few certain days. So you have to plan really far ahead. And I think they, I don't know. It sounds like a setup for failure. You think they're like, <laughs> definitely want to go Monday so I can hit the club by Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I get pregnant again. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the punch card. <laughs> Planned visits. Parenthood yeah. punch card. Hey, you know, two more visits. Your next she one's on us. Hello. She's like, cool shit. And you... special K night. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing we don't want this one to be boring. I was on acid the whole time. <laughs> oh my Molly. My I imagine Molly being the the drug of sluts in 2020. Yeah. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of kids, a lot of little girls about five years named Molly. <laughs> we're gonna find out. <laughs> we're gonna find out what the real side effects are later. <laughs> it's a whole whole brain <clears throat> society with webbed feet now. <laughs> Very creative imagination, though. Yeah. Very creative. They're all artists <laughs> <laughs> and vegans. And vegans. No, I'm sure by then it'll be something different. I was hearing about them trying to create meat that was never alive. Did you hear about that? Like a synthetic protein that looks and feels and tastes like meat? Just, you know. Cruel, like said, cruelty free cruelty meat? Free. Like, well, I, I guess that's what it is, right? If you, like I said, if you don't want to fucking eat meat, then don't. I get and it. And if you do, like we just did about 20 <laughs> yeah. minutes ago with giant couple... burgers, <laughs> yeah. so be it, damn it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel pretty good about it. I, yeah. There was vegetables on there as well. And I don't hate myself for love. I don't, and nothing changed for me. I tried it before. I tried vegan diet. Yeah, but I mean, and it, it my my results were after a while. I got used to it. I did get a little tired of having to get creative with dinner and like what to make. You know what I mean? It got kind of you have to balance out your meals a lot more. That too. And then I was losing weight, but then I started getting. I was not capable to do the same things I was normally doing. Um, I guess cardio I could keep up with a little bit more but I was still lifting weights and I was still like trying to be able to go through a full day at work because I think at the time I was just like a I was either I was in the restaurant industry still so I did a lot of moving around a lot of this and that I got pretty tired after a while been there been there yeah <laughs> I start. I crave I crave that type of protein I try to go days without doing this I just have to yeah you know, the worst thing I crave is, is fucking carbs man you crave carbs I like crazy. Carbs it's hard. Like I tried keto. It's I tried so, keto. It's so hard for me not to fucking eat carbs. Yeah. Have you tried not to? Like, how long can you? Oh, go? it is. It, it's, it's it doesn't. It doesn't, it's doesn't even happen. <laughs> yeah. I'm like that bag of freaking fiery nacho Doritos, family size, <laughs> that y'all didn't eat at the Super Bowl is just sitting there, and it's gone that night. It's gone that it's night. It's gone. It is gone. <clears throat> I'm the same way, man. And I tried keto. I did it. It was like an on and off situation. It was it was hard, bro. It was hard. You feel like shit after a while when your body's so used to burning that energy. Yeah, I just I can't I just can't do it. I, you get diarrhea. You feel like queasy. I'm like, why are people doing this? It works. I heard the, it. Apparently, that's a that's a diet. That I'm not gonna say lifestyle change. I don't think anyone should be doing that for a lifestyle. It's like the side effects of all the prescription drugs. Yeah, it's like basically being on the fucking like. I don't know, let's name one. Hydroxycut. You know how it makes you feel like shit? Or Adderall. It's like all of the side effects of Adderall without the cool part. So in the end, you're like, why the fuck? Why, why did I do this? this? Yeah. yeah, why did I do this? I lost weight. And I kept yeah. it off since then, but like, no one do that anymore. Like, that sucks, bro. I would rather feel better. Yeah. <laughs> than look better at this point right now. That's pretty much I'm it. getting to that, I'm getting to that point where like, I'm, I'm starting <laughs> to dress like that older guy. Every now and then it happens. I'm in like tennis shoes and sweatpants and You're all buying shuffleboard gear. <laughs> fucking <laughs> considering taking up golf. Considering. You're like I need a uh, driving range. Checking out the local condos and, <laughs> you know. Seeing which uh which which sandal looks good with these socks. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> golf courses. I have a collection of visors. <laughs> <laughs> and Glasses that go over your prescription glasses that are bigger. Yeah. And tinted. <laughs> yeah. Are you, you're almost there then. Uh, yeah, I feel like I should be getting into a bridge group in the next, <laughs> in the next couple of years. 
Absolutely. Thinking about reading soon. Yeah. I'll have, you guys will come over one day and I'll just have a thing of Werther's Originals. Werther's Caramel Candies just sitting there. Ooh, I forgot to mention, speaking of becoming that guy, you're the Dungeon Master. We've talked about, <laughs> we're, we've talked about being on D&D on the show and you're the guy who runs it. Uh, yeah. Well, you guys run it. Oh, whatever. I just You're the kinda... moderator? What, what yeah, is that? that's, what is that really, that's really more of what it is. You're the operator, the moderator? Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, you guys can fuck up any story that I come up with. Yeah. Like, going right when <laughs> I expect you to go left, so, yeah, I mean, it's but you story. like you you For those, now it's going to get really weird on this oh, episode. Here we cause, go. But for those who don't, like, we have maybe, like, 1% of our listeners from across the world that Just probably say the virgins. Play. Just say the virgins. No, no. No, because they probably rape people. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's a third world country, and they're like, "Ooh, they talk about D and D. I want to try it." So, if you want to, I'm into S and M too. So this is this is out to someone in India. Sure, we have some fans there. How do they start getting into D and D? They need hobbies. YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. There's YouTube some, and Amazon. And there are so yeah. <laughs> YouTube what? and Amazon for sure. Yeah, you just want to pick up a pick up a a book. There's plenty of them out there. I'm not getting into much <laughs> detail because of uh, obvious reasons. But you know, go to a go to a bookstore. Go on Amazon. The comic book store has a lot of shit too. They a do. lot of dice. Yeah. Every event that we've gone to, yeah. we went to. Uh, Comic Con one time, and they had plenty of shit. I didn't understand it because I haven't played by the yeah. time. I never once ever saw myself. I didn't either. getting excited about D and D, and I still don't. Like I dread it on the way there. I'm like, fuck. I am kind of the same way. Like, when but I'm then when we ready. start playing, I'm like, yeah. all right, you get of, into it. You get into it. Yeah. You get into it. It could be the whiskey. You know, yeah, that's probably a lot of it. But <laughs> hey, whatever. It's still fun. It's yeah. hanging out. It's doing something. We're it not is. going crazy. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. We're not at the strip club. Fucking. Waiting for some bitch to fall off the top fucking to the pole. Oh, I've seen man. them get up there too. I feel like they're gonna fix the lights one day. You know what I mean? Like they just climb the pole all the way up and start just becoming electricians and then slide back down. They just have like a mobile pole. <laughs> she kind of sticks it and you just press the button and it locks in. And just, just climb right climbs up. up. Shoes fall off. Uh, yeah. Spins up. down. <laughs> They got gymnasts when it comes to fucking pole dancing. It's crazy. Like anything that was ever slutty, old white moms can turn it into a fucking exercise. Like Zumba. <laughs> Zumba was like sexy dancing, sexy salsa dancing that is now a 90 minute workout video. I think my favorite would have to be the shake weight. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was. You turned jerking off into was, exercise. That was made for. <laughs> 35 plus divorcees for handy sandy yeah with two kids live with their dad <laughs> and like the stepmom more <laughs> see yeah. it's easy to go deep when you're making <laughs> references like that it's horrible it's horrible but it's easy it's easy for people like us it is just imagine <laughs> just, just imagine having it planned out no. even a little it would actually not work out. No, I don't think it would. Now that you've now that you've gone, let's see how far we've gone. Forty three minutes in. <laughs> Just last time I looked, it was seventeen minutes, and there was no difference between the last time I looked. As it it does fucking fly. It does fly. Um. So I do want to talk about this bitch though. Let's let's do one fucking pop culture. Let's do bullshit it. because we do. Oh no! Here's so well, horrific moment of a stripper falling from the top of a twenty foot pole, lands face first on the stage, but keeps on twerking. We've all seen the fucking video. Yeah. Did you also see that she got money? Like she raised money. Real yeah, fucking like quick. thirty grand or something. Like <laughs> a matter that, right? of a day. Right, man. I want to say it was about a day. Yeah. Twenty feet though is pretty fucking tall. Yeah. That should play. Uh, that should pay for most of her nursing school. <laughs> <laughs> so I think she should. I like she it. Should be set up. Yeah, because the way she got up, she did not seem like it hurt. I think that was pure shock. Yeah, <laughs> <Because> <laughs> adrenaline. Adrenaline. <laughs> At that point, you already looked a fool. Yeah. <laughs> you might. You might oh. she, when she fell, she ragdolled. Right, like oh, she bounced like, back boom, boom. up. Absolutely. Yeah, and she then got up. right back yeah. up. 
I, I know. And she had like what a broken jaw. <laughs> yeah, uh, dude. We got ribs. I don't know. What is it? What yeah, do we got? She needed a she, she needed surgery to fix a broken jaw. Wow. Yeah, that's uh. Damn. She landed face first, but continued with dance routine immediately <laughs> afterward. She didn't. This is on. So uh, she posted it. She, well, someone had to. Have someone had it. to have posted yeah. it. Yeah, it's on someone's Twitter. Oh, she posted thanking well wishers. Yeah. Okay. This was on DailyMail.com. I don't know who runs Daily Mail or what city it's from, but it just looked like it hurt. This was as of what's the date? February tenth. Yeah. So what? Ten days ago. Still funny as hell. It's in Dallas. Well, there you go. Well, of course. <laughs> it's right here, Man, right she, deep, deep in the heart of Texas. Bounces up off the floor. It just. Oh, it's at an ecstasy. Hurt. There's an ex. There used to be an ecstasy here. Boom! Boom! boom. boom. I love how it's on repeat. Boom! Yeah, <laughs> I love saying boom. This is this is yeah. yeah. I love because this is a professional like mail or like newspaper website, news website. Whatever. I just hear kerplunk, and you just. Boom! Like they just have no problem they, putting and then this they, shit on repeat. They slow down stills, <laughs> so you can see. <laughs> you can right here at this moment. She was still pretty confident it was at in her this dance moment, routine. She knew she fucked up. And look at that right there. Right there. That's she, about where that hand slips off, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. She's got the splits. She's like, you know, her what I mean? form is flawless. Her form is great right here. Like she's about to do an eight-point dive, and there's somebody right here on the. <laughs> Like she's in awe. That's well, no. I mean, like right here, this yeah. person still has no clue. This yeah. chick right here, like Man. still, she's Jeez. not in this picture though. No. What the hell? <laughs> so no. here we go. So this is where she let go. She's already like regretting every decision she's she made fell far enough night. to where while you were falling, you were like, "Oh shit, I'm falling." Yeah, there was enough time to think about your but, fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's Definitely. insane. Oh, oh. She still has no idea the girl's seeing it. Look at that. Yeah, right there. Well, I mean, shit. <laughs> she just landed right there, right next to her. She could be like, I feel like, was it planned? Like, was she there? Uh, you want to get way. conspiracy theory about it and just say that this chick right here at the end of the stage that came out of nowhere? Because she's not in the very first I picture. think she's the one that actually put Crisco on top of the pole. <laughs> and causes. I heard that was a thing they already do. Yeah. <laughs> They get lubed up beforehand. I mean, if you, I don't know, somebody in is this is this considered sex industry? I would consider that right. I mean, They're not having to sex. a sexual yeah. fetish, though. So you you think that people that have been doing it for a long time get desensitized to sex? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So they don't get wet anymore. So you need to crystal the poles. You need. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm sure that's a thing. Yeah. If you if you're at a strip club and she's sliding down and you hear. <laughs> <laughs> Go to another table. <laughs> All righty. Despite the violent plunge, Sky, I guess that's her name. Of course it would be. Because <laughs> that's where she fell from. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> she fell from the fucking sky. Sky immediately continued to perform her routine on her Instagram account. What? No, this is like, oh, period. And then on her Instagram account, Sky tearfully thanks social media users. So social media users think like paid out to that, and then they they put out this comparison. So a bunch of thirsty dudes that'll never meet her. <laughs> yeah, Let's just be real about thirsty it. Thirsty dudes. It's probably her stripper friends, like just putting in one night of work <laughs> for for Bob the accountant over here and <laughs> Jerry with three oh, kids no. and running a the a car wash that his father in law gave him and he hates life. Or what I used to experience when I was at a bar was I was bartending at a place like this is uh, it was the general manager of a seafood restaurant <laughs> that hated his wife it was hitting on me and the other guys that worked there. Wow. Yeah, he never hit on the strippers. He hit on like the barbacks, and it was very weird. Like you, you know, you have that problem at pint sized brews. <laughs> <laughs> you're planned for the little people <laughs> strip club. <clears throat> pint sized brews pint sized brews what city would that have to be in Minneapolis <laughs> you asshole for that <laughs> uh, did you have fun I did good absolutely we're gonna end it we're gonna get it on out of here 
I'll go ahead and do the the normal routine as we say goodbye. You have any thoughts, any advice for Chris while he's out there? Or, uh, you know, he's doing the podcast. He's going to start doing some open mic soon. He is going to start doing that, and I'll have I'll have to be present for that. Yeah, yeah definitely. Tell you what, actually, I, actually, he probably doesn't want anybody. No, he yeah. wouldn't want anybody there. My yeah. my first couple times I did it, I was okay, comfortable. You know what I mean, like. But the time that he came and he brought his girlfriend, I fucking blew it. I forgot yeah, my jokes. Yeah, I, I could see that. And I know it's going to happen, but like... Get through it. Get through it a few times and then, yeah. But, you know, let's wish him well. I wish you well. You know we love you, bro. Hope you're having a good time. Fuck face. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Bad mouth to me like this. You <laughs> bastard. You can get it back. But you know, no, it's all right. You, you got I'll five take minutes. the high roll. <laughs> yeah. Of course you would. <laughs> He's going he's gonna to think that, too. Of course you would on fucking... Oops. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Yeah. All righty. Uh, forget that part. All righty. Well, if you guys are listening to us on iTunes, please be sure to give us a rating. Give us five stars. the only thing that we accept because that's more pointy ends. And give it to us in the back. If you have any comments or anything like that, feel free to just say anything while we're on the YouTube page or any of our social media, which is at Instagram. We are Maps Podcast, and on Twitter, we are Maps underscore podcast. Uh, you can always look for us on Facebook for our shenanigans. Mr. James here is actually a, what is it, a moderator? It are you, be a moderator. You're like yeah. a mod on the page. Yeah. So sometimes he is responsible for the memes. I am. That some of y'all get to enjoy. So there he is. That's him. Yeah. And those are the glasses, because <laughs> you put a little smiley face, right? Like a little like emoji with the. I do, with. yeah. That's how we know it's yeah. you. So, secrets out, fuckers. I know. Now you can see the. Yeah, you the looked emoji. at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fallen camera. The fallen camera, Jesus, it's gonna happen. Um, so there's that. We do have merch. We have a right now. What people are running for Congress and president and all that stuff. So we do have a shirt. It's Chris the Myth for Senate. Yes. <laughs> it's uh, $20, $21 at maps, the morning after pill show.com forward slash maps merch. Yeah, the shirts support, are hilarious. support our boy. <laughs> support our boy. He's running for Senate, apparently. We talked about it on a show, and like a couple people were just wanted to like. Yeah, I'll make like it a shirt. Let's, let's endorse them. Let's make it a shirt. Let's Fuck do it. it. <laughs> let's have a rally. There'll be like seven of us, but let's do it. Can you imagine him actually like getting voted, like written in because of this? <laughs> <laughs> I asked him one time. I was like, "Would you do it if you got accepted?" He's like, "No, no." I was like, "Good." They'd have us all killed. Conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> Kill all humans. Yeah. Goodness. <laughs> Uh, you guys know where to listen to us. We are on Spotify. What do you use to listen to us? Spotify. Spotify. Uh, I just found out that we're on Castbox. Like, there's some so many things that you're on quite a few. We're on quite a few. Yeah. yeah, we're on. Um, we're on iHeartRadio. We're about to be on Pandora now. Um, so we are doing some definite expanding. Thank everybody here for. Thank all of you guys for listening and and giving the shout outs and supporting and you know getting the merch and. You know, we've been expanding out and doing a few new things, and people have been pretty, pretty fucking excited. Or a couple of people weren't, but either way, you know, it, it, that's what happens. It's, I guess, part of the biz by podcasting and putting yourself out there. But I love it. I love that all you guys are enjoying it too, because we would have stopped if it didn't go well. You guys are doing phenomenal. Hell yeah! So you guys are doing great. This one was fun. This like was you're part fun. of it. You're definitely yeah, not part this of it. Was fun. Yeah, you've been in a background. You're like a behind the curtains type of guy, yeah. and you're definitely just filling in because your brother's not. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm giving him a lot of material to. God, he fucking sucked there. <laughs> yeah, dude, you he do. sucked there, bastard. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, fuckers. Y'all have a good one. And thanks for, for having me, guys. And for the technical difficulty on YouTube, so not sorry. You guys have a good one. <laughs> Bye.